the formidable robot. Internet challenges. They started off as a bunch of unusual ideas, from people that were bored out of their minds, to outright dangerous dares. Some of these challenges lead to discourse, crimes being committed, and even suicide. One of the lesser known examples of this phenomenon would have to be, the Smiley Wally game. In Tampa, Florida, multiple teens would be sent a long message along with a heavily modified image of a chihuahua, on numerous social media apps such as Instagram and Snapchat. It was oversaturated, bright, and most notably, the dog had a wide smile along with dark pits for eyes. On the bottom of the image, a caption was included, reading, Smiley Wally wants admiration. The accounts sending these messages normally had stock images of puppies set as their profile pictures. As for their usernames, they consisted of complete gibberish, usually being random symbols and numbers with no meaning. The message went out like this. Smiley Wally wants to be your friend. She needs someone who loves her and cherishes her until the end of time, but that someone must be brave enough to keep her out of harm's way. Let's play a game. Follow her requests below, and if you succeed at pulling through, repost this image letting everyone know you've won. A number of teenagers and children did what the message said to do. The following is a list of commands from the messengers, from the first to last day. Day 1. Watch nothing but Mundo films from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. More specifically, movies that exploit sensitive subjects, by showing gratuitous amounts of real death, tribal sacrifices, massacres, etc. After 6 p.m., you're free to do whatever you please until tomorrow. Looking away from any horrific scene will result in the challenger losing the game. Day 2. Engorge yourself in as much raw fish as you can for 3 minutes straight, only washing it down with milk. If you can hold in your vomit by then, you have succeeded in the challenge for that day. If you can't, you must do it over and over again, until you pass the 3 minute mark. Day 3. Take a very hot shower. Turn the handle all the way up to its highest temperature, and let the water pour on you for 4 minutes. For the first 30 seconds, coat your index fingers with shampoo and rub your eyes. After the full period is over, feel free to wash out the shampoo from your eyes and step out of the shower. Day 4. Smiley is interested in getting to know other doggies. Send her a picture of your dog and comment his or her name. Day 5. Go outside and find an earthworm. Then, chew it until it's nothing but pulp. Like day 2, vomiting or spitting it out will result in you needing to do it again until you can keep it in. Day 6. Smiley is jealous of your dog. Spit on it, then start punching. Over and over and over, until you get bored. It can still move, if you want. Smiley just wants your inferior to learn its lesson. Day 7. Find two candles, and seclude yourself in your closet, or some other very small room. Light them, and once they dwindle to the very bottom, proceed to pour the wax on your back. You may cry, but do not shout. Don't shower for the next three days. Day 8. Look at yourself in the mirror. Grin and bear it. Remember how close you are. Day 9. Shove three thumbtacks into your skin, forming a circle when you're done. More preferably, on the shoulder. Do not take them out. Day 10. The finale. Find a gun, any gun, and place the barrel in your mouth. Pull it. Pull the trigger. If you don't have one, that's unfortunate. Smiley might not think you were strong enough after all. Some people gave up the challenge, due to them either not having the materials needed or not having a dog for day 4. For others, it ended in turmoil. This game's spread resulted in around 25 casualties, and only one person managed to finish the game live. A now 23-year-old Carlos Agra, who shot through his skull with his mother's M1911 handgun. He was left permanently blind at 15. As for the people who refused to play the game, some still lost their lives. Two deaths were recorded from seeing this clip, both of them being seizure-induced. When telling the user who sent you the message that you don't want to participate, insulting them, or ignoring their proposal, a GIF will be sent in your direct messages within minutes. It contains an altered version of the original Smiley Wally, with the top half of her head shrouded in black. 
Her smile is replaced with human teeth, and her head rapidly twitches in every direction. Over the GIF, transparent, yet bright colors would flash on the screen at a very quick pace. The screen would shake, and on the bottom of the visual, the caption reads, the word will spread whether you want it to or not. This GIF has since become lost media, and accounts sending these users the challenge notes were deactivated soon after the game was discovered. Life goes on, and these trends only continue to grow, good or bad. They die out, but some leave behind disastrous memories in the process. Families have lost their loved ones, mothers have lost their children, due to the idiocy of human beings. I can go on about the many critical thoughts I have revolving around this subject, but there is one question lingering in my head that I don't think I'll ever get a straight answer for. And that is, whose dog was that? Why her?